Hey ninjas, welcome back. If you've done all the previous episodes, good for you. Good work, do your best and do them as best as you can. So make sure while I'm talking, you're warming up, you can uh, grab a ball of some sort and maintain control in the area that you are working in. And uh, whatever room you are in, uh, whether you are on a carpet or uh, you have some kind of mats at home, just be careful. Make sure you know uh, what is safe. If you have sharp edges in the room, uh, make sure that they are covered up like we have done with the pillows uh, at the end. Uh, and um, we will break up the class into a warm up and then some ukemi. Uh, we will practice some uchikomi, which is uh, with the bands and the belts. So if you have uh, some extra bands or belts at home and some other obstacles like noodles and blocks and uh, even blankets, uh, you can use um, to, uh, for obstacles. So first we'll start by bowing in. So uh, let's line up. So first we bow to each other to show respect. And so we stand like this with our hands at our side. And now let's kneel. Say za. You put your hands on your lap, just like so. Look forward, relax, close your eyes and take a deep breath. So. So tournament eight, sentinel eight. We will also do some fun activities at the end. Make sure uh, you have some water nearby and do your best. Let's have some fun. Here we go. Start by walking in a circle. In the space that you have at home, make sure you know where your boundaries are and just take it easy. Stop, other way. Let's turn the other way. Good, running. Here we go. Okay, facing inside. Walk from, just have a little skip, heel to heel. This is called Yoko Sugiyashi. Facing outside, same thing. Heel to heel. That's it. Good. Backwards. Ich, me, san, she, go. Forward skipping. Ich, me, san, she, go. Backward skipping. Ich, me, san, she, go. 360 skipping. Here we go. Skipping 360. Running. Stop. Other way. Nice kangaroo time, two feet together. Yeah, and hopping. Ich, ni, san, she, go. Backwards hopping. Ich, ni, san, she, go. 360. Ich, ni, she, go. Good. Frog time. Put your hands down on the ground in front of you and hop. Here we go. Keep going. Yeah, it will be tiring. Now, this time, keep your hands up and let's do five hops together. Each, ni, sun, shi, go. Good, okay, now into lion. Walking like a lion. Up on your hands and feet. Here we go. Good. Good, okay, everyone down here. Let's talk about some different animals we want to do. It's important to practice the animals. Do you know why? Um, because... 
so that we can move in all different ways. Yes. Okay. Did you guess that? Good job. So let's practice some different animals. What would you like to practice? Um, cheetah. Okay, show us the cheetah. Cheetah time. Yeah, let's start by stalking very quietly. And then a big burst of energy. Good, come back. Okay, nice and quiet. Walking very, very quietly. And then a big burst of energy. Good. Awesome. Okay, I love to do the barrel roll. So, lay on your side. Keep your head off the ground. Good. And try and roll straight. Good. Awesome. Let's roll back. Let's roll back. Here we go. Yeah, try to roll straight. Keep your head off the ground. And just roll around. That's great. Awesome job. What other animals should we do? Maybe this animal, you should decide what you would like to do. Snake. Good, you'll do the snake, I'll do the koala. Go ahead, snake, and then you can do whatever animal you would like to do. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, with your animal of your choice. Awesome. Let's spread out and do some ukemi. Okay, find a spot in the room. Swing your arms. Good. Make sure you have lots of room around you. And sitting in seiza. Good. Just on your knees. Your big toes should be touching behind you and your hands on your lap. We'll start with my ukemi. Now, depending on what kind of floor you have at home, adjust it so that you don't hurt yourself. Okay, hands up. Turn your head to the side. Itch. Knee. Sun. Good. She. And go. Good, let's do, let's sit. Yeah, in sitting. So keep your hands in front. First, we'll do three of just rolling. Okay, so roll back. Keep your head off the ground. Yeah, keep your chin tucked. Look at your belt. Look down. Good. You can hold your gi too, just like this. Yeah. There we go. One, two, three. Good. This time, have your hands in front. And as you roll back, you tuck your chin and hit the ground before your back touches. Depending on what kind of ground you have at home, whether you're on a carpet or you have mats, just adjust. If it's a carpet, don't hit too hard. Just get a feel for the ground. Just like that. Good. Okay. Up on your hunch. Now to the side. Yoko sugiyashi. That's it. Good. So sweep your foot to the side and roll on your side. Yeah, you should just touch the back of your shoulder when you roll over, just like this. Yeah, here we go, keep going. Slide your foot out. Ah, oh, so much fun. I love Yoko Ukemi. This time, when you roll, bring your foot across, hit the ground, just like Orion was doing. Yeah, good. Sweep your foot out. And just tap the ground before your back touches. Good. Okay. Upon your hunch, sumo stance, hands on your lap. Good. Hands above your head like this. And close your eyes. Hold your balance. Open your eyes. Tap your hands together. Stand up, bring your foot in, lift it up, you shall! And you put your hands out in front and bend your knees. Bend your knees. Yeah, there you go. Good. 
Other side. Yes, Here we go. Two more. Yes, Last one. Yes, Good. If someone is in the room with you, give them a sumo high five. Good. Awesome. Now is a good time to get a quick drink while we talk about the next activity. Today, we are doing ukigoshi. Ukigoshi is uh, when you bring your arm around behind your uh, partner. So, because we are practicing with bands and belts, uh, we will adjust this uh, activity. So, um, with your partner at home, or if you have something firm, you can tie this around. Uh, here, Orion, you can grab this. And ukigoshi is when you step in and your arm goes behind the, your uh, partner. And I bring my foot back. And when I turn, I have my partner. Oh, good, Orion. Orion's creating nice tension. So I get the feel that I'm actually pulling somebody over so your partner can help do the same. So I step in, bring my arm around and good. So this time, if you have something, you can stand up at home, even a stuffed animal. I, we will use a noodle. So stand up, Orion. So the, the noodle is where my hands are. So when I step in, I will, he will create tension. I will bring my arm around and secure what is the body and I will pull. Yeah. Yeah. That's one way to adjust ukigoshi uh, while you're working from home. So he will pull. Oh, look, he's getting a workout too. Good, let's switch. Here you go, Ryan, take this end. Yeah. Take your time with this. Okay, turn around, Orion. Yeah. So this, your right arm, as you step in, goes behind the person, and then you turn. Turn your body. That's it. Good, 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 good. Okay, try again. Try again. So your arm goes around, behind. This arm goes up. And pull. Pull, pull, pull. Turn your body. You have to bring your foot back. You have to bring your foot back. Other foot back. Yeah. Yeah, you can try that side too. Good, 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 good. This time, Orion will do it with the noodle. Here we go, grab onto the ends. Grab onto the ends, good. Here's the noodle in front of you. You have to bring your arm around behind. Oh, you're using some kochigari. So, grab onto, grab, good. Yeah, I like the combo, but let's do ukigoshi. So bring your, so as his partner, I can hold the, the noodle here. So bring your right arm around the back, around the back. That's it. Now bring your other foot in front. Bring your foot in front, other foot. Yeah, there you go. Look, he's got his arm around behind the back of the noodle. Good. And then you can just do 10 of these each and have lots of fun. Good, that's ukigoshi. Nice. So. We will also practice some newaza today. So, uh, Orion, can you lay down? Oftentimes, you are maybe on your back and you have to escape a hold down. This, uh, for this, your partner can use a noodle, uh, you can use a yoga mat, um, anything soft, even a stuffy, um, to act as uh, the um, okay, but for this one, we'll use the noodle. So I will put the noodle on top of him. Uh, just create a little bit of pressure and now he has to escape. Look how he's pushing the noodle out and rolling out of the way. Here, come back. Okay, escape, escape. Yeah, look how he's getting out of the way. Okay, quick, come back. Good. Now this time, Orion, and uh, those at home, when you escape, I want you to escape and then get on top of the noodle. Go, 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 escape, get on top. Good. Look, he, is, he pushed the noodle away and got on top. It's like over and under. Good, now let's switch. Okay, I'm on my back. So those at home, you can switch. 
Okay, put the noodle on top. Good. Okay, I push the noodle out of the way first. Yeah, okay, go ahead. The other person has to try to hold the noodle there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll push the noodle out of the way. Okay, this time I will push the noodle out of the way and then get on top and have control. Good. Good. Try that at home a couple of times. Good. So, often we will use our different obstacles to create a final obstacle course. Regardless of age, you can create a course that is challenging for you. So, what shall we uh, set up today? Yes. Using the objects you have at home, uh, create an obstacle course. Uh, you can create jumping sections, um, balancing sections, and of course, rolling sections. Um, you can use yoga mats to jump over. So create a certain distance. That is a big jump for you. And increase the difficulty of that jump. So this is a jumping section. Um, here we can use the blocks for balancing. Watch out for any corners or edges. The noodle we will be able to roll over. Good. And if you have, uh, if you uh, need to tie your belt, we also have videos to help you tie your belt. So let's get started. We have uh, some jumping obstacles here. So just a big jump. And for this one, I have to do two in a row. So each knee, cover uh, both of your uh, yoga mats. For this one, I'll roll over the ball. Just like so, if you have an exercise ball. If not, you can use any stuffy to roll over as well. There are many different objects that you can use at home to do your obstacle. So, we'll go through the obstacles together and have lots of fun. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, jump? Yeah, yeah, jump. Okay, Two, double jump. Big jump. Good, double. Let's go. Yeah, good. Roll over the ball. Yeah, find your own strategy. Yeah, go ahead. Balance. Balance on the blocks. Good. Yeah. Just find all the fun things you can do at home with the obstacles you have. I, when I was on there, I jumped. Good, go ahead. Let's see. Nice, good jump. Awesome, roll over this. Great work at home. Yeah, just do your best. Okay, let's clean up and do one final activity. I was jumping on the block. I saw that. Well, balancing. Okay, one final game. Bowling for ninjas. So, the way you play this is one person is at the end and you try to hit them with the ball. Okay, roll it back. I didn't get him this time. This is a reflex game. That hurt. Yeah, just stay on the mats. Stay on the mats. Stay in your uh, carpeted or matted area. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Got him. All right, my turn. Yeah, just have fun with this. Whoa, whoa, that was mighty close. Ah. Last round. Gotcha. All right.
Let's go. Let's put every let's put the equipment away and we'll tidy up together now. Here you go. Yeah, let's clean the mats. At home, depending on what you're using, uh, if you uh, would have a rag, you can tidy some of the shelving areas or um, surfaces. Um, if you're on a carpet, you can have a vacuum available that you can clean. Usually we clean for about 30 seconds and then uh, we'll do uh, closing ceremonies together. Good. Now take uh, your rag or uh, the vacuum and just put it to the side. Here we go. And then we'll bow out. Thank you, Orion. It just did 40 minutes. Good. Seconds. Uh, can you fold that up, please? Make sure you leave things as you receive them. That's why we clean our rooms and uh, stay organized. So, put your hands at your side, stand up straight, and seize up. We will kneel, face each other, and put your hands on your lap, close your eyes, and take a deep breath. Mokso! So Tsunamidi, Sensini Day. Good. Did you have fun? Good. I hope you had fun at home as well. And this is good for any age. So uh, I'm lucky to have Orion here to help with, uh, with the Uchikomi uh, practicing technique exercises and for escape as well as the... Um, uh, bowling for Ninjas activity at the end. So, thank you for joining us. And if uh, you need to do this episode over to do all the activities, that would be great before you move on to the next one. Thank you. <laughs>